Amongst the world's top 40 male golfers, nine are under the age of 30. And with Tiger Woods now aged 31, only one of the nine is from the United States. Those underperforming 20-something American golfers have been branded the Lost Boys. Yet the future of golf stateside isn't as bleak as you might think. Waiting in the wings is a generation of promising teenagers set to make a big impact on the PGA Tour in the forthcoming years. Amongst them is 17-year-old Peter Uline. To find out more about one of the most exciting prospects in golf today, we travelled to Florida, where the teenager lives and trains. Definitely like to be one of the best golfers in the world of all time. I like to be Jack's record. It's probably going to be Tiger's record when I'm out there. And then, uh, um, you know, I'd like to, you know, just win everything. It'd just be awesome. Just live the life like Tiger lives it, and you know, just hit the ball like uh, Mo Norman hit it, and Ben Hogan, and just be one of the best players ever to live of all time, like Arnie and Jack and Player. It'd just be awesome. Hailing from Massachusetts, Peter has lived in the Sunshine State for the past four years. He made the move south to attend the David Ledbetter Golf Academy here in Bradenton. His development has been overseen by senior instructor Tim Sheridy. Like many who've witnessed the smooth swinging six foot one inch U-line play, Sheridy has no doubts about his ability to progress to the pro ranks. I see him being successful, A, he's extremely talented, B, he wants it, so he's willing to put forth the extra effort and the work to get there, and C, technically he's so far advanced than most of the guys on tour. He swings better, putting stroke technically better, you know, he has all the shots. He can fade it, draw it, hit it high, hit it low, he knows how to play in the wind, so I think he, he's more than ready. In 2005, Uline was named the American Junior Golf Association's Player of the Year. He was the third youngest golfer ever to receive this award, whose past recipients have included Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. The award secured Peter an appearance at last year's PGA Buick Championship. It was an impressive achievement considering he was just 16 at the time, and mixing it with the pros proved a valuable lesson. You have to really putt well and you have to get up and down when you need to get up and down. And I think your short game's gotta be. I mean, anybody can hit the ball good. I'm saying, I was, I was on the range uh, during the event and then I was watching guys hit balls and I, I hit the ball better than they did, but you know, their short game's just so good. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. So your short game's gotta be real good. Golf has always played an integral role in Peter's life. His father, Wally, is regarded as one of the most powerful men in the sport. He's the chairman and CEO of the company which produces some of the game's biggest brands. Growing up, there was always a stream of famous players visiting the family home in Massachusetts. Aaron Baddeley came over the house. Uh, Sergio was there. I played kickball with him. I played soccer and kickball with Sergio during the Ryder Cup. That was fun. Brad Faxon, Billy Andre I met, and uh, yeah, I. I was this close to picking up the phone when Tiger Woods called. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, there's been a, been a lot of people at the house. When Peter moved to Florida as a 13-year-old, the U-Lines decided that mom Tina, herself a talented college golfer, would accompany him. Together, they set up what's become the family's second home, about a 10-minute drive from the academy. With his father being so high up in the golf world, Peter has enjoyed the perks of hanging out with top players and having access to the best equipment. But he's also aware that there is a certain amount of pressure and expectation that comes with the Uline name. I try not to think about it, because amongst the junior golfers, I was, I think, ranked number one this summer. So, I mean, I was, I'm one of the best juniors out there. And, uh, you know, people talk to me and recognize me for how I play and not just who my dad is anymore. The David Ledbetter Golf Academy is a sporting institute run for the development of talented youngsters. 
It has a high school on campus which Peter attends. After he graduates next year, Peter plans to go to Oklahoma State University, which has one of the best golf programs in the country. A couple of buddies of mine in college, you know, they taught me that you in college you just learn how to play. You might you're not so focused on your swing, you just you just learn how to play, and I feel like I can do that real well. So that, but they, you know, just learning little things like that, and then just not throwing away so many shots to get ready for the PGA Tour. So. Whether Peter stays at OSU for the full four years remains to be seen. Like Tiger Woods before him, he may decide to leave early to join the professionals. He has all the, the skills and he can pro he's proven, you know, on tough golf courses that he can shoot low scores. I mean, he's no problem shooting a 64, 65, you know, on playing in 7,200 yard golf courses that are tough with tuck pins. So, I mean, if you can do that on a golf course, you can, there's no reason why, just because it says PGA Tour, he can't do it. Peter Uline is one of the most talented young male golfers in the United States at the moment. If he continues to improve his short game, then he may be the one to lead the charge of the new American young guns on the PGA Tour in the coming years. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.